All right, a lot of you guys have already seen that I left the shop. Now I'm gonna be working at Adam's house, which is the coolest garage ever. I will be working here now during the summer month. Adam's going to Connecticut. I'm gonna stay behind working on all his projects, but before I can do that, but before all that, I have to finish with the Cream 240, which I'm working on right now. One of the first things that I'm doing on the car is I'm fixing up once again the oil catch can. I'm eliminating more ports because they were sweating a little bit of oil to keep things cleaner in the engine bay. Guys, just look at all the vibrant stuff. It's just vibrant everywhere. <laughs> I love using vibrant stuff. Everything on the S15 is gonna be vibrant. Everything on the LR240 is also vibrant. Vibrant everything. I already also exhaust wrapped the manifold. Um, Adam actually did this. I told him to do this. He just did that to wrap the brake booster in the gold reflective film. So it reflects the heat back from the exhaust manifold or doesn't damage the diaphragm again. Another thing we did on the car, it was just also Adam. He installed a new head unit and I installed an amplifier I install a little subwoofer behind the seat I don't know if you can, yeah, there it is kicker and there's also an amplifier underneath the passenger seat for the voice speakers this up here is a giant intercooler that I had Adam get for his S15 which was Originally gonna go here, but it's an S chassis, so I fill it right in. This one, as you can see, is rated to 875 horsepower. Trange out of and in, core thickness three and a half. Giant intercooler to keep everything cool going inside the engine, especially when you're flooring a lot of big boost through this thing, which is gonna be the beautiful Garrett. GTX 3584 RS. Close about a thousand horsepower peak. But we might not get all the way up there at the beginning, but we will soon. This giant tube right here is a four inch exhaust. I'm gonna make Adam a four inch downpipe all the way turbo back four inches to the tail, the bumper. So it's gonna scream 2JC all day. These are also some of the old parts from Nicole's car which we took on the, the broken SR with a little hole on the side. Just a small little hole on the side, you know, just more ventilation. These two pieces right here are one of the coolest things from the exhaust. So this right here is a 3 inch to 4 inch um, expander or transition. 3 inch for this is a three inch to four inch transition. So this will go right on the turbo and make it four inch right from there. And then since the car is super low, I'm going from round to oval four inch tubing. So the down part is gonna be round and then on the bottom of the car is gonna be oval then back to round again. So I'm gonna do a shop tour of my new shop. <laughs> this is the best cabinets ever. It's loaded with vibrant stuff. As you can see on top of the counter, or shelf, I'm sorry, shelf. Then we got some cool paper towels that management got for me. <laughs> he left his phone here. I love his case, by the way. And more vibrant stuff. And then you got the best turbo ever Garrett this is one of many turbos do you show them like it was gonna be like a single turbo or you thought it was gonna be double dual no, turbo? no no I, I actually said it was gonna be single but everyone on the Instagram photo thinks it's twin because there are two turbos in the picture <laughs> guys no it's gonna be single turbo with a GTX 3584 RS which is capable for a thousand horsepower the whole twin turbo thing was like a little funny thing. It was hilarious, but no, it's single turbo. It's not going to be twin turbo. 
and I'm gonna be working on that very soon. Then we got all the ditch work stuff, more vibrant stuff. So it's like we're gonna run oval tubing underneath the car because it's super low. Then got a bunch of stuff over here. The Swiss trucks that are super cool because if you scrub your feet on it, you can shock your friends. I don't know if it'll do it right now, but let me see. Ow! <laughs> see, I'm not excited about it. That thing hurts so bad. I guess you guys already saw it on, on Adam's garage video that I took a light bulb and I hit it against this thing and it lit up. It's so static that it actually lit up. <laughs> All right, we're continuing. So we got the lift, which is super reinforced now. So it doesn't move anywhere. That was a lot of fun. And then you got this yellow car thingy just sitting here, which uh, is very slow. Doesn't go fast or sideways. And he ain't got no scale. <laughs> then outside, we got the little car collection going on. I'm jamming. And then that's the neighbor walking in. <laughs> they got this random strange car. It's like this white with red seats. And then a purple one out there. And then there's, there's my car over there, which is not really that much fun, but it gets the job done for now until I get the E36 ready. And now we're getting ready to go to the warehouse. And yeah, we're gonna go check out Adam's new super awesome black trailer that i told him to get a black trailer because it looks way better right let's go black then go back so that means that tube over there should be black uh no <laughs> i don't know oh no it's starting to rain hard again <laughs> no there's the coolest thing about the new shop that it has this awesome sound system that it makes the whole cabinets and lamps and everything rattle three keys to getting alberto to work product Three key ways to get Alberta to work product. Three key ways to getting Alberta to work productively. Good bass. He needs to hear that EDM music very well. Yes. He needs to have very good lighting because Alberta's always sleepy, so it helps him stay awake. And number three is it needs to have air conditioning. Oh. That's pretty true, isn't it? This is just like your old shop. Your old shop. Oh, oh and, and food. You, you need and to food. have food. We, we stock the fridges with ginger ale and uh, what is it? The white pizza? What's it called? Bianca. Yeah, Bianca pizza. Bianca pizza. It's so good. Yeah. So Even though it has spinach, I, I, I'm, I'm sure eating my greens because of it. Yeah. So. You can't even taste the spinach on it. That's how to keep a big goose happy. Yes. Which company? Is, it says mixed parts. Who makes mixed parts? And it's very hard to open. Oh, it's more vibrant fittings. A lot of vibrant fittings. We got all the goodies over here. Look at this. So I gotta assemble all this stuff. There's a lot of uh, assembly in there. No, I'm gonna be back, I think, before we start assembling that stuff. That'll be fun. It's like a massive Lego kit, but very, very advanced with hoses and fittings. And you have to like weld them together and stuff. So much fun. I'll get to do all of that with the tape welder. I've been using this thing for a long time and it gets a job done. Then Adam knew I had problems with my vision and he got me this awesome mask, which helps do the job right. As you can see, it's been labeled LCBMX everywhere. <laughs> Wait, I don't have a big boost sticker on this. I should grab one from the warehouse and put it on. I do should have a big boost sticker on it. I gotta look what he's doing. Are you filming me? What are you doing? You're gonna tow the trailer. With what? The, the Beamer. So you're gonna tow the trailer with the BMW? Yeah, dude, that make a good amount of torque. Huh. More torque than this thing. Probably does. This yeah, thing does. is not boosted. That is twin boosted. <laughs> So this is it. This is what Adam's trailer looks like. This big, black, shiny thing. And yeah, he wants to tow with that. The, look at the size difference from the trailer. Like trailer, car, it's like. <laughs> and then length, you can see the, the gigantic size of this thing now. The inside is 
literally like a house in here. Is it? Oh man, this that's bright. I, uh, I, I have to turn it down, it's too bright. To this. Alberta, Whoa. what do you think? This is awesome. You've already seen it. So this is, it this smells is like brand right. new, it's like new car, but trailer version. <laughs> My camera's getting like fogged up from all the humidity. Really? Yeah. And then there's this giant, cool looking Yamaha generator thing. <laughs> I wish I had the generator going because then I could turn the AC on. Oh yeah, it has oh, AC. Oh, has AC? I'm pumped. Does it have a radio? But of course. Dude, it's so humid in here. I needed to stop being humid. Oh. So many tools to put back in the drawers. That's almost too many. <laughs> well, you can never have too many tools. For sure, man. For sure. So those are the little liners for the gaming doors. They don't really fit the best, but it's a good temporary thing. It helps. For sure. Then we have to find out how to install this thing, which I had Adam get. So it helps stabilize the trailer on the road, so it makes it, makes it drive a lot smoother. The generator looks so funny. It's like too new to be true looking. It's like all plastic. We got a little exhaust with a little mesh on it. Hot exhaust. Let me see if it's true. It's not that hot. I do what I want, sign. We also got like, this looks like the kitchen floor. It's like nice non-slip. Very nice. Diamond plate. Then you got the, I like the carpet side. It's like so nice and comfy. And then super shiny walls with lots of lighting and speakers. All right, after like two hours in the trailer, it's like 200 degrees in here. You can see I'm all shiny. It's 150, it's not 200, don't exaggerate. 150, okay, yeah, it's more like reasonable. Okay, 150 degrees. Yeah, because the AC is not hooked up yet because the generator is still there and it doesn't work because we have to like- I was gonna kick it. Put it together. Why would you kick that? It'd be rude. It looks so futuristic. It looks like a dirt bike. <laughs> Can I ride it? Yeah, I'm on how you sit. Wait, how's Yo, wheels? How sick would that be if they made a generator? Like, it's an engine, right? So why couldn't they just hook up a chain to wheels on it so you could ride the generator? Uh, Wouldn't that be sick? Anybody that knows how to do that, comment below with your suggestion. You might Dude. be able to make it work. Dude, that'd be so cool. Imagine just being able to ride the generator around. <laughs> Like imagine just being at the track, riding around a loud ass generator. It's like, hey, you need some power, you just hook it up. <laughs> I'm an extension car for everybody. That would be Sick. funny. Yeah, dude, you could tow stuff with the generator, because it probably has a lot of power, right? How many horsepower is it? Does it say? I have no idea. It has a Yamaha 6300, whatever. I don't know, I don't know what that is. All right, so we finished. Well, Adam did literally everything. Just was assisting him to load up all the drawers in this thing. And now we can get out of here and go back to AC. So I'm gonna get off. I, I, I was gonna actually sleep here. It's actually like my little bunk over here. Yeah, you guys were asking if Alberto was us. Uh, it's like, you guys were asking if Alberto was staying in our garage. This is his new home. Huh. I just need a TV, an Xbox. It already has a, well, it has a little TV on the radio right there. And it has an outlet to charge my phone. And yeah, you just need a little padding on this because at least I won't slip off. Then you can like ratchet strap me down to the trailer so I don't like fall while I'm sleeping. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now so we can get out of here. It's already like midnight. I had a lot of fun with Adam today. So I'll see you guys this week. I got a lot of videos for you guys since He's leaving, so I'm gonna be taking care of his garage and his car, so... What? I'm live right now. I'm trying to... I don't want you to know that I'm live. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.